Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and today I want to do a little bit of a first impression slash mod spotlight on the Civ Blitz mod. Now, this mod has a little bit of a history, right? It was originally developed by uh, another community, and then they didn't necessarily abandon development, but they no longer continued development. And I expressed interest in, in reigniting the development, and another guy got in contact with me, and we've been working together and when i say we've been working together i say that he's done like 98 percent of the work and now it's finally time for me to do my two percent which is to promote it and show it to you guys so the game originally came from the disc zord community um i'm not really i don't really know much about the guy behind it i think he's like harring zord he's a twitch streamer uh he's pretty interesting to watch and they basically invented this game mode of civ blitz where you would custom create a civilization based on like a randomly generated deck of civilization cards and then you would build a, a civ uh, so like if you go over here uh, you sign up this website right civ 6 blitz.app and then you'll you'll generate a collection and uh you know if you get your friends together you can build you know you get randomly assigned a whole bunch of civilization abilities that I could be like, okay, I'll take Mongolia's ability with Tokugawa's leader ability and the Nubian pyramid and the Hazar, right? And you can kind of randomly build this. But there's also this beautiful mod tester thing here that'll allow you to actually custom build your own civs. So for example, let's just say I wanted to make like, uh, I don't know, like a really fast civilization. So I'll take Grand Columbia's ability uh, and then I'll switch over to leader ability. I'll like control F movement. Here we go. I'll take Persia, right? We get plus two movement for all units for the next 10 turns after declaring a surprise war. So when I declare a surprise war, my units have plus three movement. And then I could maybe take something like the Ordu, which will give my cavalry units plus one movement. And then I could take something like the Carolian, which gets plus three combat strength per point of unused movement, which will be quite a lot, right? Because he's going to have plus three movement and he has plus two base movement and he can get plus one movement from a great general, all these things, right? And so I've basically built a movement bait sieve and I'll, I'll just say, okay, you have Sweden start bias or you have Persia start bias. I download the mod. Then I put the zip file of the mod into this PC documents my game Civ, Sid Meier Civ 6 mods and then I just right click extract all boom extract it out into here and then you're done that's it you, you have installed the mod then you just go into civilization you go to additional content and your mod will be listed somewhere in here it'll be called like Civ Blitz and then a whole bunch of random stuff like Civ Blitz Greek uh, Kubai da, da, da. and then I just right click it to enable them and then these mods are now enabled and I can use them so I've actually built three example civilizations today just going to give you an idea of what Civ Blitz is I do fully plan to put together a, a really good like tutorial video, um, but this is just like a quick, hey guys, check out this mod, give some feedback to the developer and yeah, you know, leave some feedback in the, in the, in the comments here. So I've built this missionary save, right? We've got India's ability, mostly for the plus two spread recharges for missionaries and the extra religious pressure from trade routes. I mean, there are some other nice things here, um, but we also have Jaya Varman, right? We get better holy sites, extra adjacency, extra housing, extra food. And then we have the Lavra, the half-priced holy site. So this this sieve is all about rushing down other sieves with missionaries. Um, and there's not really a religious-based unique unit, so I just took the Buffalo Hunter, which is an Okichita with their production cost halved, right? So this, like, this is like a souped-up version of the Okichita. And then I made this sieve, and I... I I actually, I have a game that I was playing with them. You know, I I, I, uh, I loaded up the the Giga Missionaries game. I, I I took a save at turn one. And, you know, I did some pretty basic stuff. Like, I this is the game. I, I settled here and I started planning my empire. So I'm just going to skip ahead to where I was just about to start spamming missionaries from two cities. Because I think I was just on the verge of recruiting my great prophet and actually beginning the spam. I was dealing with like a little bit of a barbarian invasion, but I can come in here. I can recruit this great person. I create my religion and I'll just very quickly, I don't know, I'll just make like uh, Judaism. I'll grab work ethic because I have pretty reasonable adjacency on my stuff, but mostly I would be looking for something like holy orders, right? I want to make my missionaries 30% cheaper to purchase so I can rush people down with missionaries. This plus two era score, I secure myself a golden age. And then when the turn rolls over, I can grab myself Exodus of the Evangelists for plus two movement on missionaries and plus two spread charges. So now now, when I recruit my missionaries, right, they're really, really cheap and they have seven charges that I can send out to convert these sieves. And, you know, it's a it's a it's an interesting, basically, sieve that I custom built who's designed to rush other people down with the missionaries. And the reason that the Okichita and the Lavra work so well together is because this gives you plus four era score and this gives you plus four era score, which means you have a really good chance to get a classical era golden age and then spam out a whole bunch of 
um, really, really cheap missionaries. Anyway, Hungary, Hungary declares war on me in this game. But but the point is, right, you, you could do a really interesting uh, missionary rush. You could build a couple of these wonders like Aya Sophia that gives plus one build, uh, spread charge. You could get to tier three holy site building that gives another spread charge. And if you can golden age and continue to spread your religion, you can do some really interesting stuff. You know, all these things are, it, it's an interesting set of things that you could do with this, right? Because early in the game, not everyone has their religion established, right? There's not a whole lot of pressure in these cities. There's 200 pressure in here. There's like 300 pressure pressure in here. So it's early enough into the game where pressure hasn't really been established. So it should be quite easy for missionaries to take over like half the continent. You could do a very, very quick religious victory rush with this custom civilization. I think that's a really, really cool idea. Now, I also built a couple of other themed civs. I built, for example, this is a Kublai Khan, the generalist, okay? They get an extra wildcard policy slot in every government and an extra economic policy card slot in every government. They gain a random eureka and inspiration upon first establishing a trading post in another major city uh, civilization. You get the Outback Station, which allows you to turn flat tiles into useful tiles with plus one food, plus one production, half a point of housing, extra food from every pasture, and then plus one production for extra um, pastures and Outback Stations, right? This allows you to turn flat tiles into more useful stuff, and then you just have a really strong early game unit that can keep you alive, the Patati Archer. So this is the generalist he's just a really really good generalist civ he all like he's not built for a specific victory type then i built the one city challenge save right we've got scotland's ability for the plus five percent science and production in happy cities that gets doubled when the city is um ecstatic so you go from getting a 30 percent bonus to a 40 percent bonus and then i have young lay who gets plus two gold science, uh, plus two gold, plus one science and culture per turn for every population in a city over 10 population, if, if the city is 10 population or more. And then you get the Prasat, which is 0.5 culture for every citizen population in this city. The only thing really missing from this build is like a little bit of food, but then I just took the Sabum Kibutum because it's a high speed scouting unit that you can make fairly early into the game. And like you could just, you could, there's en- literally endless combinations and you can like supercharge your saves by, by going down here to the powers and like, oh, do you want to just take like a Kamai ability? Like I'll scroll down here and I'm like, you know, what? Uh, I'm going to take Engineered Irrigation. I'm going to take Holy River. I'm going to take Sacred Soil. I'm going to take Water Diviner. I could just add all these to this civilization. I could take all those Khmer abilities. I can pick and choose. And then I could just download this again. And this will be built. Seriously, check out civblitz.app. Give the developers some feedback in the comments here of this video. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.